Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. Uh, do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and I do all the Leco problems. I got a million up right now. Not a million, but a lot. Uh, so check those out if you're looking for solutions on leak code problems and ex explanations. Uh, so, yep, that's what we're doing right now. We're doing this one. It's called squares of a sorted array. So given an array of integers A, sorted in non-decreasing order, I don't know why they don't just say increasing, return an array of squares of each number also sorted in non-decreasing order. So uh, we see the arrays right here, negative 4, negative 1, 0, 3, 10, increasing order. And then we have 0, 1, 9, 16, 100. These are the squares of these numbers also sorted. Um, and you could see that, you know, negative 4 times negative 4 is going to be 16. So that's going to be right here. Negative 1 times negative 1 is going to be 1. It's right here. Uh, so just to show you kind of how that works. So basically the trick to this problem in solving it, optimal um, speed and space is just accounting for these negatives, kind of. That's the only tricky part here. Um, so we're just going to use a two-pointer approach. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a pointer and set it to the last negative element. So we're going to have a pointer here in this case. And then we're going to have that pointer decrement because that the, fir the first element, the last negative element here is going to be the smallest positive element when we square it. Negative 1 times negative 1 is going to be 1. So we're going to want to put that into the array before the next negative element. So we're going to have our one pointer cover the negative elements and go in decreasing order. And then the other pointer is going to be at the first positive element and it's going to go in increasing order because increasing from the smallest positive to the biggest is going to give us the smallest square to the biggest. Um, so let's just start doing that. So first of all, we're going to grab the length of our array here. Um, and then we're going to do set our first pointer. So let's say we have, we can just call it positive pointer. I'll just so I can make this clear for you guys. So positive pointer is going to be equal to zero right now. And then we'll do while positive uh, pointer is less than n. So while it's less than the length of our array, we will do, oh, no, and, and um, a of positive pointer, so the current element is less than zero. So while we're, while our positive, while we didn't get to the end of the array, we're looping through the array, and while the elements are still negative, then we're going to uh, increment our pointer positive pointer right so now once we break out of this loop we've gotten to the we've passed the final negative element so if we were on negative one here it would still loop through and then we'd be on zero right now so now we want to set our second pointer so our negative pointer is going to be set to positive pointer minus one so now our negative pointer is set to the index of the first negative element Right, perfect. So now we could set up our new sorted array for our square sorted. Uh, so we could do int, damn, sorry about that. Um, int sorted squares, I'll call this array, uh, is equal to new ints of size n. It's gonna be the same size as our initial array here. Um, and then we're gonna have our final pointer, our, fi our counter. So we'll just have a counter set to zero to kind of in increment our array as we go um, and yeah that's pretty much it now all we have to do is our loops so while negative pointer is greater than or equal to zero and positive pointer is less than n um, we are going to do a check if a of uh, negative pointer so if the square of the negative element is less than the square of the positive element. I don't know if these naming conventions are really good for a video, but I kind of want to, I hope that you guys, it helps you understand. Uh, then we're going to set our sorted squares array, sorted squares of counter. And you can increment within right here, or you can increment separately. I'll do it separately so you guys can see better. Uh, sorted squares of counter is going to be equal to a of negative pointer times 
a of negative pointer because we want the smaller of the squares because the square of a negative element can be less than the square of a positive element obviously and the square of a positive element can be less than the square of a negative element for example 3 squared is 9, but negative 4 squared is 16. So 9 is going to get it put in before 16. So we want to do that check here. So, you know, if the negative element uh, is less than the square is po squared is less than the positive element, we're going to put that in our array first. Else, we put the uh, positive element in our array first. So sorted squares of counter. And counter is, once again, just a little counter variable to increment our array as we go. Um, positive pointer times a of positive pointer. There we go. And that's pretty much the main loop here. Um, we do have to obviously decrement our negative pointer. So negative pointer minus equals one as we, at each loop and increment our positive pointer as we put these elements in. Um, and then also our counter. Like I said, you could have just incremented it right here if you wanted both times, uh, but you don't have to. So now that we break out of the loop, this means that either our negative pointer, we've hit the last negative element, or we've gotten to the end of the array, in that case, hit the last positive element. So we just have to get those ed edge cases here. So while negative pointer is greater than or equal to zero, because one of them could be at the end, but we still have to account for the rest of either the negative elements or the positive elements. Um, while negative pointer is greater than or equal to zero, then we just add our final elements here. Um, sorted squares of counter is equal to a of negative pointer times a of negative pointer in the negative pointer decrementing again. Uh, and then it's going to be the same type of deal here once again. And you, can, you also have to make sure you count for the counter. Um, while positive pointer is less than n, just the same conditions up there, but one of them will break out. So we have to, these are just edge cases. Uh, counter is equal to a of positive pointer times a of positive pointer. Hopefully you guys understood this uh, solution as I went through. I tried to name it so that it made it better for you guys to understand. I might have made it more difficult. Um, and then our array should be filled in sorted order of all of the squares of the original elements. So we'll return, not answer, but sorted squares. And let's submit it. Hopefully it works first try. Positive pointer, not a statement, line 35. Uh, positive pointer plus equals one, sorry, incrementing that. A lot of code. There we go, success. Uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys understood that. I tried to write it in a way that would help you guys understand that. It's just a two-pointer method. Uh, we're storing everything new into a new array, so I guess that's O of n space, and it's linear, so good runtime here. Uh, the pointers with the negative just going backwards on the negative elements, forward on the positive elements, and putting them into the new array, it's the smaller of the two squares, one at a time. So that's it. Uh, check out my other videos if you can. Everything's in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.